if you're just doing contract work, there's a certain amount of hours in a day that you can work. At a certain point, you're gonna run out of hours that you can or want to work, and that's gonna be the hard limit on your income. Damn. The big idea here is to diversify. Now, it's just smart to do anyway, to have multiple sort of ways that you're making money from your skills, but you're also going to make more when you do it. So what does that look like for a web developer? Well, contract work isn't the only way you can make money. So here's a few ideas of ways that you can take your coding skills and make money from them in other ways. So blogging, you could start a blog, you could target it towards uh, either other developers or your actual clients that you're working with. You could target to either audience, but start a blog and run ads on it. I know people think AdSense, AdSense has sort of died, but actually there are sites out there that make four or five, ten thousand dollars or more per month from almost solely from from AdSense ads. So it's still a thing you can do it if you if you do it right. Uh, information products, you know, I sell online courses uh, that sort of started as a side thing for me, but then uh, it became it sort of became my main thing and overtook. Uh, the rest of my business and it's now my primary business at this point so you never know where it can lead but it can also be just a good side thing that you do uh, YouTube videos you can your ad revenue you can do merchandise you can uh, get sponsorships you can use that to promote your information products or your services etc you can do consulting so sometimes clients don't want to hire you to build the thing for for them they just want to hire you to talk to you because of who you've worked with or some of the things that you've done and I had this happen to me especially after I started kind of I'd worked with Inc magazine I'd worked with Mike Hyatt I'd worked with Lewis Howes and worked with some of these people and was starting to get a name for that I started to have clients approach me where they're like my site's built I, that's not what I want to talk to you about I want to know what Michael Hyatt did to create his content or to promote his membership site or I want to know what Lewis Howes did for this or that right so as you get more notoriety as you do this more consulting can become an option for you on sort of the business or the content or the marketing side of things so at least be open to that you can also do affiliate marketing. So we talked about blogging and YouTube. Another way that you can make money from those things is promoting affiliate products that are relevant. You know, for a long time, I talked. I would promote Udemy courses. Um, some of you may have seen that. That was that was affiliate marketing for me. I've since kind of really focused on building out my own information product line because I don't. I don't really like affiliate marketing, um, but that's just my own personal preference. It's still something that, that plenty of people do, plenty of people enjoy, uh, and you can and make money with that. Another one is software products. You're a developer, develop a product. Develop something that, that appeals to the, the people that are hiring you to build sites. Build some sort of product that, that, that appeals to them and would be a good fit for them and could be a natural upsell to your services. So there's plenty more things that you should do. You should really be trying to maximize and diversify your income in as many ways as you can. But the really big thing with this is you really want to try to create an integrated set of products and services to maximize the income value of every client you work with so that when you work with a client, they don't just come in and hire you for your services. Okay, They, they also take your course or whatever it is. So let's say you build, build e-commerce sites. Start a blog about e-commerce and the business lessons that you've learned working with your clients. You can include ads, links to affiliate products that are good fit for your readers. You, if you have an online course, you could sell that through your blog uh, and, and teach you know e-commerce uh, website owners not about how to build it, but the business side of things that you've learned. So you can attract a, a, a much wider audience or Offer consulting to people who already have a site, but they want to get more sales or create your own add on for WooCommerce. If that's what you use to add some functionality that you see is missing with it or whatever. So everything, every example I just gave you will appeal to the exact same pool of potential clients. But now you're maximizing what you can uh, earn from your expertise and each client that you work with. They can hire you for their services. They can also after that's over. Uh, consult with you about the long-term business part they can take your information product they can you know they, they they maybe like one of the affiliate products that you recommend and you earn a commission from that like you can maximize the value of what you're getting not only from your skills but also the audience that you're helping to create around your freelance services so that really is kind of the key, I think, to, to, to taking the top off of your income because if you're just doing contract work even with uh, one-time fee projects, 
like there's a certain amount of hours in a day that you can work. So at a certain point, you're going to run out of hours that you can or want to work. And that's going to be the hard limit on your income. But an online course, an affiliate product, those things, they can be selling 24-7, 365. Uh. Yeah.